Hi, Bruce McBurney. We're back again to how to build colloidal silver machines. Now basically a little further on the semi-automatic. Now the semi-automatic uses a temperature control switch to basically interrupt the circuitry so that when the temperature gets too high on here it'll shut the power off at the transformer so the water doesn't go above temperature. Ideally you don't want the water above 120 degrees. If you keep it below 120 degrees, it stays singular silver molecules. The water is crystal clear and it's just far more effective than a lot of these clear and uh, yellow or cloudy solutions that other people have. Uh, the cloudy is not too bad if it's a white cloudy, but once it turns yellow, uh, that means you're silver oxide. So prevent the silver oxide from the too high temperatures using a temperature control mounted in the back just simply bring the wires on them and what we're going to do is go into the circuit board on the control panel that this control relay right here is a control relay that's wired to the transformer. So this relay is what turns the transformer on and off. So when the temperature gets too hot in the oven, if we eliminate the voltage going to the relay in here through the circuit board, we eliminate the power being turned on. So we just take our two wires coming from the thermostat and find where the coil is for this relay and actually on the circuit board, I don't know if it helps to see the light, but you can actually see a little loop here. So you would go into the, where the loop is and the wire that's feeding that one loop would be cut and we would solder a wire on both sides so that when the wires are closed, the relay turns this on and off. But when the wires are open, the, 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 this is too high of a temperature, it's turned off, it means the transformer doesn't come on and allow the water to get at too high of a temperature. Now you can have the water at 120 degrees, but there will be a temperature variance, so you usually run this control at about 85, 90 degrees. So that once the water is getting up at, that night, uh, at the 115 degrees, it's giving off sufficient heat that it's heating the air that will be picked up with the temperature coil. Now this is the semi-automatic version. Uh, this could be built in the home or different people can get it. This is an off-the-shelf market item. Uh, usually uh, motor shops and uh, different uh, farm and feed stores have the temperature controls like this. You want one that has a normally closed and a normally open switch and you want to use the normally closed switch so that when it hits the high temperature, it opens up, which is stopping the transformer from working. Using this, you can run the unit 99 minutes, and if the water gets too hot, it safeguards it from getting uh, the silver oxides and the lesser quality colloidal silver. So that's our semi-automatic version, but also with the semi-automatic version, as you've seen in the other one, we have the fan that is blowing the air directly across the unit and we are baffling the unit so that all the air has to go through and across the main uh, container of, of colloidal silver for cooling rather than going around the outside of the microwave as was done with a normal microwave. Now um, there's a lot of different people that say you can build colloidal silver generators for $29 they're simple three 9 volt batteries and two wires and you put it in a glass of water and the water turns gray and basically then it turns yellow. The, uh, when you're doing that, also one of the wires, it will turn black. Uh, basically it turns black because you're generating oxygen on that wire and you're generating silver oxides. It's like accelerating the uh, um, rusting process for the silverware. Like if you take your silverware and you don't polish it after years, it'll basically turn a yellow, a light yellow, and then a darker yellow, and eventually go into a brown shade, and then years later can even go black. But with putting the silver bar in the water and then having a positive charge and a negative charge on the one, you end up with a high concentration of oxygen on the bar, and that bar must be cleaned every time. Now, one thing if you notice with the, these machines that I have, with the silver bars, after many years of use, uh, or months of use, 
uh, the bars are relatively pristine white. There's not a lot of black or build up. In fact, these bars haven't been cleaned in a couple of months. And there's just a little bit of gray on the inside. And there's no yellowing at all because we use AC current. So with alternating current, you have balanced positive and negative on each bar. So you don't get a tremendous buildup of the oxygen or the hydrogen on the bars. So the bars stay clean and your water comes out clear. Um, like I say, if it does get too hot with these systems, it will turn yellow. But if you keep the temperature below 120 degrees uh, with your temperature control or as the automatic version does by monitoring the, the silver bar, there's uh, no yellowing in the water. It's crystal clear and just the most amazing thing I've ever encountered. And uh, I know people saying you're giving away the goose that laid the golden egg. Uh, these machines have been a blessing to me. They've been a blessing to my friends and family. Uh, I basically... Uh, uh, sell the water and if everybody did it their own selves I would not have an income but I figured I would look after some way somehow uh, a lot of people want I will still build and sell the machines as much as I can uh, unless uh, I am forced to shut down in any way by the government and uh, uh, the biggest scare I have right now is this is, is such a blessing that the drug companies are going to let this information flow freely and the government is not going to let information flow freely. So I want to get it out now, and I urge you to share this information. Go back and watch all these different videos. Review the other testimonials. <coughs> Excuse me. And help get the information out that uh, we all can be blessed. And I'm just getting a little dry with talking here one second. One quick.